go. Look who what we've got here, a camper van. Now it's not a brandy camper van and normally we don't tend to buy many unbranded camper vans. What I mean by an unbranded camper van, when a make such as like Over to Sleeper or Swift haven't made the camper van. Um, but there are some good companies out there that do make good camper conversions. Um, so we've basically we've brought this one because we think this is a good camper van conversion and for around about the 25,000 mark it's going to get you a good start into camper vanning as well and it's giving you everything that you need so basically it's a Peugeot boxy it's a two berth two belted seats it's a 2012 and it's only done 15,000 miles with full service history it's 3,300 kilograms in weight and it's just under six meters long so there you go you're getting a good starter van here so let's have a look around the outside and then we'll go inside so we're getting the awning we've got a fresh water tank and then we've got the windows in at the back and then if you move to the on the side we have the hook up and basically, oh, we've got the waist there as well. You've got another door there, yes. Oh, we've got another door. Mm, that's what it's there. Oh, 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 oh. Miss that bit. Cassette toilet. Cassette toilet. Look at that, eh? And you've got the vents there for... The fridge. Compressor fridge. How do you need a compressor fridge? Because you wouldn't vent a three-way fridge to the inside. Would you? So, tip number one. It's a compressor fridge because you wouldn't vent a three-way fridge to the interior of the van. It's got to be vented to outside because obviously if you use it on gas, your products of combustion have got to get away. So it can't be... It can't be a gas fridge. can't be a gas fridge. You've got to let the products escape. So there you go. Tip of the day. Tip let your day. products escape. Yeah. Let's go have a look inside the van. Okay, Jace. Away we go. Away we go. Um, Peugeot cab. Pretty much of not much one muchness. Muchness yeah. of a muchness. Yeah. Five speed C D radio blown air. We've got no air con, have we? No. No. No problems, we'll just leave the windows open. Um electric mirrors, electric windows, we've got no cab blinds. No. Nope. Uh, but we do have just pumping on there, we do have some curtains, 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 curtains that we say to go across. Yeah. Um so a pretty standard Peugeot, wasn't it really? Yeah. Yeah. Shall we um, venture inside at the well, living area? It's gone really grey now, hasn't it? The sun was shining before. <laughs> Carefully. I know. My goodness. Yeah. Might be in for a bit of a downpour. A bit of a finger. Have you? Yeah. What have you done? Of course, it's on the, on the door latch. Yeah. So... Oh, you didn't cry though, did you? Nearly. Nearly. Ne but nearly did, yeah. You don't, you don't cut it, you don't need a plaster. Yeah, I did cut it, it was bleeding. Yeah. Right. But... I'll carry on. Oh, yeah. yeah. What a goat's watching you, dear. Hello. What do you think of it so far? <laughs> that goat's just like you. <laughs> what? Just stands there and watches. Shut up. I'm going to call you goat from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard what he's saying about you? <laughs> Kevin! I can call the goat Kevin. <laughs> Come on, serious review here, we've got to be serious. <laughs> Okie dokie, so, as we walk in, we've got the uh, microwave, yep. we have a little 12 volt. Yep, compressor, compressor fridge. fridge. That's switched on, let's carefully. Oh, let's switch that off. Oh no, that's switched on. There we go. Little freeze. Yep. Little freezer thing in there. It's all you really need for a camper van though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, of course it is, yeah. To be honest. Um, we've got the microwave. <coughs> and then... Um, Love it. That's it. <laughs> you forgot what it's called then, didn't you? Um, did what? we mention there's an awning outside? Yeah. Yeah, we've got the awning. There's a winder for it. Yeah. And then we've got a... Uh, table. Like a table. The pole for it, sir. And then above that we have the... Um, I can't think of anything. Roof end. That's it. And then nice LED lights. Uh, moving on to the kitchen area, two burner hob, and then we have the hot and cold. Hot and cold. Now the hot and cold's only on electric, isn't it? 
The hot water's on the But before you all say what we're going to do when we're world camping, we can't use the hot water, we can't get it on. We're going to show them, Kev, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. We're going to show you how you oven, can. Oven grill, is it? Hang on. Right. Oven grill, Thetford. And then below that, storage. And again, more storage underneath. I'll lift you up a bit there. For oh, lift you up a bit. Lift you up a bit. There you go. Yeah. Like that, I'll lift you up a bit. Um, this has got quite a nice washroom. Do you want to go on? I'll let you explain the washroom, right. Kevin. Yeah. It's quite a spacious washroom. We've got the tip up sink, swivel toilet, nice shower tray, nice shower. It's a nice washroom, not for a. It is a nice washroom, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Again, decent size as decent well. Size, yeah. yeah. And then moving on to the back, it's only ever going to be one layout at the back yeah, anyway, yeah. with the bench seats, and then we've got the boards that we slide across yeah. to make up the make up the bed. Um, and then just show you this side down here, Kevin. Uh, we to sit down? Tally now, um, and then we've got the Propex heating, yeah. so which runs off the gas. Yeah. So let's have a look underneath the bench seats. Which one are you starting with? I'm going to start with this one. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe how the weather's changed. I know. I think it might snow, you know. So, gas. LPG. Oh. And fitted correctly with, we've got a drop vent. Drop vent. And why do we have... Hang on a minute, hang on. And why do we need a drop vent in the gas locker? Because LPG is heavier than air, so if you get a leak, it'll drop out under the van. That is. That's why you got ventilation, yeah. Otherwise, you'd end up with a pool of vapour on the floor and light your cooker and away you go. <laughs> Give us a wave on your way back down. <laughs> I might put a drop vent on you. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're talking, all your waffle just goes down. Mm -hmm. What's under here? Come right, on. what have we got under here? Ooh, what was that? Anybody in here? You caught the light switch there. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, Pump, yep. 12 volt fuses. Yep. Now here is our water eater. 240 volt. 240. There's the um, fresh water tank. Well, it's not the tank, it's the pipe for filling pipe up. fills it. From there. So everything, well, easy to get at, yep. easy access. Well, well made as well. That's why we brought it. That's the wrong way around. It's got oh. a little cut off bit that goes on that corner there. Yes, I know that, Kevin. I don't actually am observing, I know it's so strange. Oh, I could whack you with this. <laughs> whack. You used to have them on them gladiator games, didn't they? Things like that, when you used to have to... Remember? You used to get them Gladiators! Them Are for... you ready? You had them for parties, didn't you? Yeah. You remember the names of the gladiators? No. I can remember Rhino. <laughs> I never watched it. It was... it was on a Saturday, wasn't it? Yeah. So... Right, storage. Storage, electric hook up. There, and then underneath there. Now here we go, grubbing times. Ooh. We've got the consumer unit. Yeah. We've got an isolation. Yeah. Oops. See, lights on. No, lights off, isn't it? Yeah. Lights on. So that's quite good for when you're not using the van. We have a battery charger, and then we've got two leisure batteries. Leisure, yeah. Are they hooked up right, Kevin? Um, Looks like they are, yeah, to there, to there, yeah. that to there, that to there, yeah, they're in yeah. top right. Um, and then what we have here is an inverter, inverter, which mm. is then plugged into the heater. Yeah. So we can actually use the water, oh, and also there's a microwave as well, been labelled up. So an inverter, what does an inverter do, Jason? An what inverter will change 12 volt to 240 volt but when don't, you get sent don't 240 down to 12 volt eh? oh no 12 volt to 240 yeah you're right 12 volts to 240 <laughs> so basically you can run small electrical appliance you wouldn't run anything that was too heavy uh, i mean that water is just probably about two kilowatt uh, anything too heavy you kill your battery that's a lot of power to run it though isn't it yeah yeah it might even be less than two kilowatt. I uh, think it's what it's I will like to try. It's going to be one of the low energy ones. Yeah, I would like to try and use a microwave on there. No, I would like to use no, no. I don't do your batteries a lot of good. So there's a lot of kit on this van, Kevin, isn't there? Yes. 
Uh, it's not a known converter. Uh, like we said before, that at the moment there's a lot of these vans on the market because, uh, well, there'll be a lot coming on the market because okay. a lot of a lot of people have found out with the prices of vans and been going buying vans, converting themselves or getting unknown converters to convert them. So uh, nice kittens, yeah, as well. It's been done properly. It has. It has. It's definitely been done properly. It's not a. It's not one that somebody's done in the garage, is it? You know, <laughs> not no, it's a, it's a, not something that somebody's knocked together themselves. Yeah, so we've got the Pro Caps diesel, we've got the water heater, we've got a spare wheel underneath, uh, fresh water capacity. Oh, 70 litres. 66. Oh, it was only 4 litres. Wastewater. Uh, 40 litres. 50. You haven't got one right yet, have you? No. <laughs> um, but you, you only get them right because you've got it written down in front of you. So yeah, it's a good camper. Yeah. It's a well built camper. Um, that's why we brought it. It's a nice. Yeah, we camper. don't we don't buy many of these self builds because there's some dodgy ones out on the market, really, isn't there? Yeah, there is. They've not been done properly. The gas hasn't been done properly. Uh, it's something you need to get if you're thinking of buying one. Get somebody who knows what they're doing to check it out because the task goes. <laughs> you get them where they'll perhaps have a gas bottle somewhere in a cupboard. And then just a rubber hose straight through to the hob and things yeah, like that. You can't that, put a rubber hose onto an appliance. No, no. You've got to have your appliance with uh, the gas pipe, then going to the regulator, yeah. and then your regulator. Then you could have the, the rubber hose going to yeah, the regulator, yeah. but you can't have a rubber hose going to any appliances. Yeah. And as we showed you before with the drop vent, and then you've got all your earthing of your electrics. It's it's a job that's got to be done properly, really. Yeah. You got to remember, you're going to sleep in this thing. You don't want it bursting into flames while you. People forget that, don't they? Yeah, people yeah. forget that. So we've got a nice little camper van here. Um, nice age, great mileage. Yeah. Um, really nice van. Ideal for some point, couple, or even yeah. just for one person mm. for getting mm. out and about mm. in. Not too big, as did, well. Did we mention this will be a chain on this engine? Is it? Two point two, wasn't 2 .2, it? Two point two. So. Two point two. It'll be a chain, not a belt. Yeah. So. Okay, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I can't believe how it's gone like this. It's going to snow, Jess. Yes. Okay. I right. don't know whether we'll have a white Christmas, but I think we'll have some snow. See you later. See you later.